program. Yeah. Well, she came to me, and I keep on trying to find a place to put this poor tree. This poor orphan tree? Yeah. I did. I it's orphan, it's... and she can't put it in her backyard because she already has two very big trees back there. So she really wants to find a home. And it's not going to like it's not going to get any bigger stay in that pot. I think Williamson no. Park. I think the only thing we also should do is check with the MEAC because they have been the ones who've been responsible for sighting of trees right. down there. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to uh, to, to discuss yeah. with them. Yeah, they'll probably tell you where. But I think to put one. that um, we're losing a lot of tree canopy between uh, the storms that we've had in recent mm -hmm. and just homeowners cutting down trees. Mm -hmm. um, we used to be a tree city. Um, you can see the remnants of it. We used to be a designated tree city, and we need to start thinking about replacing because the time to plant a tree is 10 years ago. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. have shade trees on every street, right. and they're gone. So we need to start thinking about that. Um, all those little open spaces, and I, th I know the MEAC is talking about this, but I think we need to work in conjunction with them to yeah. discuss what's, what's the plan. Um, because we have all those little islands, like on Highland Park and different places where mm -hmm. there are trees. It, there used to be trees. Like can, yeah. on Jefferson, uh, where Jefferson, Maple, and uh, come together, that mm -hmm. triangle, we lost a beautiful sugar maple this mm -hmm. past year. It was cut down. I saw that. So we need to think about replacing that. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd like to know what the MEAC's plan mm -hmm. is. Um, as part of their open space plan, we that's have part a joint of stuff. meeting with them at some point, mm -hmm. so that we're not, you know, stepping on each other's toes or uh, at least coordinating. We're coordinating what we're, we're, coordinating what we're yeah. doing. Yeah. And, All right, um, I'll send an email to um, Mr. Setzer and Tom. You can tell them about that tree. You should, yeah, you should and point out, and you know, is this where they recommend this tree find a new home. Oh, Debbie Colgan. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie Colgan. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I don't believe I have her email. I well, Bill will have it for you. Right. So, so I'll, still, I'll reach out to him and ask for, for Debbie Colgan's email address. It should be, she sent emails out and you probably have it. Because I think that's important. I mean, I'd like to coordinate with them on some of the efforts. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing to think about is um, also uh, we have two mature trees on the Amtrak side of the lower section where the dog park is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it would be nice to, um, I don't think you really, and also the, the river birch that um, oh, I like them. the I group like put in the, um, the, the, um, the Indian group. Yeah, the Native American group yeah. put in that river birch on that side also. But maybe think about putting trees on the Philadelphia Avenue side mm -hmm. so that you maintain that open view to the river, but you also are providing Tree shade stage. because the Philadelphia Avenue side is really the side that's got to provide some shade to that open field right, right, because right. the sun comes around that way and that's your southern exposure there. Mm -hmm. So also putting new trees along that along line. That side. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, before it turns the corner. Yeah. And because you have wires there, they have, they're gonna, and you also have a water line there. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to set them in a little bit more, like mm -hmm. in line with the dog park fence. Mm -hmm. But um, I think, and thinking about this, you know, native species that are going to be beneficial and do well there. But I think that's another spot to think about trees. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there: is that we okay. need to start thinking about encouraging residents if they want to donate a native tree to plant in an open space here. I think that's something maybe we can work with the MAC and see if people are interested in doing that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and just, and I, I sent an email to, is Corinne no longer on this committee? No, she's not. Okay, so I sent it to her and I apologize, I, I wasn't sure who the new members were. But she got back to me. This was given to me. This came to the office here. And maybe I mean, you know, Corinne got back to me and said that this green region uh, grant is applied for every year. It is, and we haven't gotten it the last well, couple of years. Well, what projects are you applying for? Well, the first couple of years, I think the once or twice we got it for um, for trail, and they gave like this money they put the stone in. So down in the park, they were putting like some of that in. My thing with it was, then you had, they're now putting stone down there and spreading it out and making this parking lot down the other end. Mm -hmm. So it just went over top of what you got in your grant. Okay. 
So if, why go for a grant for the same thing if we haven't designed that park and it just turned into a park lot on the other side? So what we did do was we were trying to get something done with the stage. So we were looking so we could eventually do events in the park. And we wanted to get a um, new PA system in there. And we had thought about uh, doing that. I think was, um, was it the lighting? I th it might have been lighting. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and we thought somewhere down the road it would be nice to get a retractable screen. And this doesn't cover any of that. Well, they, they, we put the grant in. Supposedly we could put it in for that, but it's never, they said it was a great project, but was not awarded for any of that. Now, this, um, I, I printed this all out. This requires a borough resolution mm -hmm. to apply for. Yeah, which we did. Okay, we and done. this, here's the application. And then this also requires, um, and I already checked with, Borough, um, you are you have to be a Pico customer either for electric or gas, mm -hmm. which the borough is. Mm -hmm. And this is you can eligible activities are developing or updating open space plans, which we already have that, but improving municipal, organizational, or authority owned open spaces, including planning costs. So this could go to the planning of the Emma Ryder property. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and funds may be used for habitat improvements, such as installing or improving meadows, woodlands, or riparian buffers. Mm -hmm. So you could, on these open spaces, like if, if the streets, the property down by the dog park, part of Williamson Park, if you already have a, the comprehensive plan for there, and you know where you might need trees, you could put that all together as we need to put in trees. Mm -hmm. Now this requires... This is ten thousand dollars, and you have to have the matching funds. You have to have an equal matching. Whatever you're asking for, you have to have the equal matching funds. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it's up to ten thousand dollars. But mm -hmm. this should be put in every year, mm -hmm. I think. And I think um, it's also for acquisition of, of land and acquisition of conservation easements. Mm -hmm. um, and all properties have to be. Um, available for public use, general public use. Mm -hmm. So all those little islands around town and the medians and, and, the medians and stuff, mm -hmm. I think are part of the open space plan, if I remember correctly, from the MEAC. And we've lost some trees there. So whether it be the MEAC or this group, I think, or if you want to do the plan, but they, they changed the deadline to March 31st. Mm -hmm. So it was December 31st. So this is still money available. Yeah, it's been the last couple times it's been in March. They, yeah, they so yeah. I just, I didn't know whether everyone here knew that, so, um, and honestly, um, I found out about this from um, the borough manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so, yeah, it automatically came in with all our, we have a list of all the grants. Now they come in this next cycle. Okay. And there's ones um, that come up in April. Um, there's another one I think after that, but one of the main ones in April I think is DCNR, mm -hmm. and that was one of the ones we had looked at for uh, Emma Rider once it's down mm -hmm. for uh, the development. Mm -hmm. There's certain grants you can go for that will you can use towards the actual design itself. Mm -hmm. um, some are for what you're going to do with it. Right. Um, I have to look up the match on that. Uh, I don't remember what it was. I know the Greenways Trails one was like 15 because mm -hmm. I just went over all that stuff with um, the manager on. This that is 50% funds. 50% um, comes from them and 50% has to come from other sources. Right. Yeah, and some of the other ones that were less. Some of the other ones are um, the one that we like have fifteen, but they'll give you up to ten thousand dollars. So mm -hmm. you have to have ten thousand dollars somewhere. Right. Okay. And that's and that's, that's the thing. Sure. We it's also can we it have be several service. It cannot be in oh, service. Right. It must be matching funds. Cash. That's cash. just like the one for the hundred fifty has to be cash. Yeah. Okay. Where the one for the CDBG doesn't. The one for that one, um, which is going to be the playground equipment, is going to be red, and within the next month, because uh, Gilmore was just in. And that they have to figure out where it's going to be placed. Um, but we are supposed to get $191,000, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not for playground not equipment. Not for playground equipment. I was here when the county was talking to the manager and to feel more about it. And uh, what, they, what they're working on right now is because we're in a floodplain. That park's in a floodplain. So the engineer is working on trying to get the accreditation mm -hmm. for the dike and all that. Mm -hmm. But until you get that, we're floodplain. 
And even though all that stuff was in that park, it was grandfathered in, so now that it's down, you can't do the same things. And it's today's equipment run. has to be certain type of equipment, certain, like certain type, yeah, certain type of ground cover. You can't just put in the stuff that used to be. So the county was going back and forth, and they were going to um, investigate along with Gilmore as to what they need to use on the ground cover because of it being a floodplain. So there might be something certain that they have to use for that. Same thing with the equipment. You wouldn't think about it, but it has to be, if you have a flood, is it something that would withstand a flood? Mm -hmm. So it's not like any other park that you would do because if it's in a floodplain, that's where the issue is. But they are working on it, and they're going to find out all the stuff that they need to do with it. And then it's like where it's going to be. It has to be a certain um, amount of distance near the parking lot, whether it's on the other side or where it originally is. They were talking about reconfiguring it, um, uh, so they're not sure because there's a gas line that runs down alongside mm -hmm. of Delmore on that hill, mm -hmm. so, so far out. So they have to be, but I think they said that Pannoni actually has a mapping of that because they were uh, replacing We had to have it mapped for the playground that was originally. Yeah, yeah, so they, they do have where that's at, so you have to make sure that it's, you know. So what Gilmore had said to us was that it's not going to put in this huge big playground, but you're probably going to want several anyway. So this would be for the smaller kids and maybe a couple ages higher. It won't be for your big, big kids, but that's a nice start. Nice um, start. We didn't get the full grant we went for, which would have been a nice one. I think it was like 450000 yeah. but we did get two hundred. so that's, that's good. good. So that's a nice little start. So that's the, so as soon as they find out all the specs on that, then we're going to um, figure out where the equip, what type of equipment is going to be, how much we can purchase. Now that one, you can do the soft costs as far as in-kind stuff. Um, if your borough workers are putting the equipment together, they're putting down the ground cover. That can all be um, uh, written off as part of your match on there. So that's where you get a little bit of a, a break on that kind of stuff. That's uh, what we're looking to do. Are you, is, the, is there going to be a home for the plaque from Imagination Island? I would imagine. Can that stay there just because I will tell you that 1,500 people in this town volunteered to build that. And yeah, that's a, to have some kind of memory of it being there. Well, nice. the original is was to try and put it back within the same footprint, um, if we can, it, even if it would have to be set back from the it's parking lot a little bit, lot. and right. configure it a little bit different because it's not. I just don't want to see that. That was yeah. Johnson Atelier worked with us on that, um, so it's local artisans mm -hmm. over there, mm -hmm. and it was. Um, a lot of people put their heart and soul into that mm -hmm. and who still live in this borough and I think it would mean a lot to them. The kids. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Especially they the designed kids. it. Yeah. Especially the kids. So it would mean a lot for that to be, um, to mm -hmm. remain somewhere or be included somewhere in there so that people have that to look well, at. Well, the thing, the thing Gilmore said, and we, we all know this, because we're in the middle of this um, trying to get accreditation and stuff. And so you've got this phase thing going on. In the meantime, we've applied for this grant, and we got it. So you want to put this equipment in, but you want to make sure you don't have to move it around. Right. So his thing was, from Gilmore, is some type of a design. Even if it doesn't have everything in it, it's going to, if you're going to have any kind of trailway, you have to get something to mark right. where you're going to put this thing. Or if it goes back in its original spot or somewhere near there, then everything else can be configured around it. But he had, when he goes to, to get this grant, he's got to have that so picture of where it's going to go. Is Parks and Rec working on that? Is no, that's Gilmore. Work? Gilmore's doing that. He's but I'm timeline. saying, who, so it's just Gilmore? At this point, okay. yeah. It's, just to get the money. Yeah, <laughs> he's got to get... He's yeah, we haven't established the recreation board yet, but okay. yeah, yeah, we yeah. did. We did reinstate it. Reinstate it. Okay. Reinstate it. Long time ago. Long time ago. Right now, it's one. <laughs> yeah. 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 They need to get over the finish line. Is some some kind of a drawing for the county that goes with the grant that says this is blah blah blah. blah. You know, these are the specs. Give us the money. At that point, that'll be where it's going to be, and they need the plan. So that's going to be something we're all going to have to be working on. There's but one other quick thing I wanted to bring up, and not about the playground. So when we're done talking about the playground, I want to make sure I get something I want to ask about too. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Is there going to be painting of the light posts, the traffic light posts, 
downtown. Oh, I noticed that too. It's awful. Um, on Delmore, <laughs> and then in Pennsylvania, like the I brought the, the paint. Yeah, the paint's year. all chipped off yeah. of it. Yeah, the ball's half silver, half black on top. Mm -hmm. The base is half silver, half black. And Isn't I that think stuff that's part of the electro plated stuff. Isn't yeah, it? Powder it? coated. Powder coated. What did uh, Sue say about that? No, I, I they were they they were. I remember, but you know what? He said that that line painter we bought could be used to be painting those things. The poles? Don't yeah. think so. But I just like to see. <laughs> is it powder coated type of thing? It's powder coated. Be, that's like something you really don't have to spray, spray on it, right? don't you? Powder coating, coating is something like an electric spray. coating, right? Isn't yeah. it? Don't they powder charge coating. it and then they, yeah. the paint yeah. adheres to it through an electric charge? It's baked on usually. Yeah. But maybe coating. someone does that, you know, comes out and does that. You know, we have to find I'm out. I'm sure we have, have to see how many people here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So have to have to this was brought up last year, mm -hmm. but I, I just think we need to, mm -hmm. if the borough could, you know, we'll use some more. Right. I'll go down. Let's go buy a case of Sharpies and get down there. <laughs> Give me a paint brush. I'll do it. If we're doing <laughs> those light posts, you know, it looks awful. I mean, that's the first thing you notice. So, I mean, beautification is not just planting, it's making sure that things are looking right. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. We'll ask this man. I noticed that two weeks ago. <laughs> got a lot on this plate, but yeah. we'll bring it up to him. Yeah, it'll go through. Yeah, so I'll go off. The, um, like I said, there's several, there's several grants we have. We have so much to work with. <laughs> the, the mill we have this year is going to be applied to some of these matches we already need to do. And one really important is going to be Emma Ryder. Mm -hmm. that, that is so go now, fun. finally. We yeah. got the okay. Uh, they're Should inside what, to um, June? look at what has to come out of there first. It has to go to special dump areas, you know, because of these asbestos mm -hmm. tiles and things like that. It's not airborne, but it's still asbestos. It has to go to a certain dump area. Um, eventually, that's that's going to come down. Our fire company's going to be doing some drills in there first, you know. Once that's down, that's great. Like that. This, right now, is the process to locate some grants, what it will pay for and then figure from there. So we have to make sure that we have enough set aside for those matches, because you've got to show that up front, just like when we have the open space one. So that's, that's our goal right now, is to see, as we are working with this auditing company that's coming in and our funds, to see, make sure we have everything we need. Because we've paid for everything so far. We had enough to get it over the finish line and get it purchased, and it's secured as open space, and now the demo part. And that's, that's a little tricky because uh, these grants have to, we have to pay it first mm -hmm. and get it back. So we've got to extend that money out. So we're watching what we're doing with it. And I understand that one, and maybe we can do that one. <laughs> but for me, if we can, we can. These other ones are definitely important to have to go first. Right. We'll talk to Scott about it, because we can see when the timeline is for that to be read as to when the money would be due. Some of the grants you're applying now won't be until the next uh, budget cycle. So that's uh, yeah, getting ready to plan. Is, um, I think the work has to be completed in 18 months, but I'll, oh, okay, I'll have then it's longer through. than CDBG because that's one yeah. year. Yeah, from I think the time it's 18 it. months if I remember correctly. Okay. Yes, any recipient will be expected to fully expend the grant within 18 months of receipt of the funds. Okay. Okay. So that would take it into the yeah, next budget cycle time. if you apply right. for it. Okay. That would be great. So I just think. Yeah. To me, if if this is like a no-brainer, we're mm -hmm. talking Pico. Mm -hmm. This is the one that the borough has to apply for, not one that the no, borough has to apply for. It. We actually have a, a boilerplate resolution which we apply for it every year. <laughs> so I have the last couple that we applied I mean, for. I, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's everything. Guy. That's the application. That's the resolution, a uh, okay. sample of resolution printed out, and the guidelines. Mm -hmm. All right, and then what did you have? Relief bunch. Mm -hmm. Are we going to actively start working that so that we, because that will turn into soil. Yeah. And we could use that soil if it's properly turned and flipped and aerated. Down with that is a huge yeah, resource for do they, these beds, do they these flowered, you know, these garden beds. I don't know, but this is the same thing. Lower Mayfield does this. Um, Doyle's Town Township, uh, there are other boroughs throughout the county and townships throughout the county who collect their leaves and their Christmas trees, they chip the Christmas trees down, and they put it in the pile, and they turn it mm -hmm. with a backhoe, um, you know, a few Once times. a month or something, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so really and then, then residents are allowed to go back 
and use it. Mm -hmm. we because call it's it away. Why does it take for it to? If it's aerated, it probably takes about a year. About a year. So you would have to have rotating piles. Like here's here's 2016s. It's going to be ready in 17. Now in this year we're going to collect it, but it'll be ready next. So we can't keep intermingling. It slows down the composting process. Right. So what you're basically talking about is if that had been done all along, there was your free soil for yep. the garden. We would have garden. more soil than we knew what to do with because those piles are huge. Because that's what it breaks down to. It breaks down to compost, which is Down level. at the end of Delaware Avenue, um, where it makes the hard turn, it goes down the hill, and there's, a, there's huge piles down there. And that's where the so to use that. That's where they collect leaves. That's where they put our leaves. Yeah. To soil. Yeah. Behind the borough garage. It composts yeah, down. Pretty much. And, um, that's what you can use for your community gardens. Mm -hmm. yep. It wouldn't have to be big barn and steel and dirt. It would be plenty mm -hmm. of it. People could bring it home for their own gardens. And, and that's what they do yeah. in other, in other yeah. municipalities. That's what they a lot do. of them will take Christmas trees and ship them for that's mulch yeah. for trails and things, yeah. too. Yeah. So, so the Lower Christmas Mayfield, trees, who else does it? Uh, Lower Mayfield, Doylestown. I mean, Bristol there's a Township, lot. Or the Silver Lake Nature Center used to do it for years. And Bristol Township, I believe, does it. Do they as a municipality? Well, I know the, the park did. Gold but. does it. Um, G O A L, the, um, the, um, I don't know what you to, Little Town Alliance, that, yeah. they do it. But, yeah, if chipping the, um, the mm -hmm. Christmas trees down, that could be your mulch for the riverfront preserve. Mm -hmm. That could mm -hmm. be your path right. chippings for that for mm -hmm. that location. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to put in, you know, a walking trail that was not a, a hardscape, that could also be your path material for oh, Williamson yeah. Park as well. Yeah, we're chipping down hard. Christmas trees. We're talking yeah. hardscape down there for. Yeah, but I mean, still, the there's a lot of possibilities for it. What we are going for, though was um, because we are part of the trail system, mm -hmm. one of the grants to go for for Williams Park for trail is Greenways Trails. Mm -hmm. And we would be a prime candidate for that. Mm -hmm. So Gilmore is looking into that for that. Because when we talked about putting a trail in down there, he said that's perfect to go for them because they have large grants. Mm -hmm. And they're right now all into your parks and recreation. They're putting in trails, connecting them everywhere. Mm -hmm. They were just talking about it at the dinner last night. Uh, what was the other town just said? They started doing the trails. She said, and, the, and the guy says, you, you put in the trails and they come. Because yeah. mm -hmm. when they people first started, people were like, oh, nobody's going to use those trails. Oh, no, no, they're they said the people are just come to the town because they want to use they those trails, well. and they're starting to connect them all between Doylestown and the surrounding municipalities, yeah. and it's just become this huge like uh, mapping. So yeah, they yeah. Do it. yeah. And, and, and we are part of that, in, you know. So if we could get that in Williamson mm -hmm. Park, he said, uh, you can apply for that grant for Greenways Trails by putting a connection between where their trail is and an and, and and entrance yeah. into our park trail, yeah. connect it in some way, yeah. and then you could go for those type of grants yeah. for that. Because that's not cheap to put in a trail, believe it or not, through that. Yeah. It doesn't look like a lot of land down there, but it is. Yeah. So it's, it's a good thing I to go in I think that's important to do. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, and I had talked previously with the old um, manager for the park, um, I would really like to see where they took the, the water fountains off the outside of the bathrooms mm -hmm. um, at the corner there of Delmore and Trenton Avenue by the Calhoun Street mm -hmm. Bridge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. They took the water fountains off several years ago, and there's just pipes there. There's pipes just sticking out. Now, there's a new manager for the park within the last year, and I... Um, Josh. Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the old manager I had been speaking to about this, I would like to go ahead and continue to that, uh, this conversation. It would be great to have one of, you know how they have the signs with the photographs along mm -hmm. the canal? Mm -hmm. If we got a picture of the pump house that used to sit there mm -hmm. to cover up where those pipes are, yeah. I think that would be attractive. Would be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it would be make the building more of a go-to, because if you get one of those pictures with a little story of what was there. You know, I have some of those original pictures. And that's why, photographs, that's yeah. why I'm bringing this up, because I think that would be something that makes that building more attractive. It mm -hmm. makes it a go-to destination. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, as a bathroom, it is. Yeah. But, but, it's, but it's a history marker. Mm -hmm. But it's a history marker, yeah. then, and people. And then I, mm -hmm. I also think it's a piece of pride. The, the previous uh, park manager was interested in possibly doing that if someone had a photograph. So I, okay. I think we should pursue that as mm -hmm. well. 
Well, when we had the hand across the canal and yeah. the, and the picture, picture was, right. was donated, mm -hmm. um, Mike and Michelle had that reframed. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I won that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. So you got the <laughs> ultimate picture. Behind that, when they took it out to have it reframed, was original photographs. And there was and extra photos. And there were small and ones, but there was four. Uh, when yeah. it was in good condition, not the falling down condition. In fairly good condition? No, it was the falling down. All right, we need yeah. to find, either through the historical society or someone else in town. Put it out there for somebody that may just have a picture of yeah, the so original. Well, Todd, does uh, Todd White have it? I don't okay. know. I don't know, but we need to get a copy mm -hmm. of a picture of that pump house in its prime. Mm -hmm. No pun intended. Prime in the pump. But uh, basically, that's what we need because yeah. that I think would make it uh, make the building even more attractive. Right, mm -hmm. right. And it would cover where the pipes were, since there's not a water fountain there. And I think that would be a nice addition there. Yeah. It, it then would draw people. The thing mm -hmm. I think it would do is might also draw some of your Jersey mm -hmm. lunchtime walkers mm -hmm. to come down there and take a look. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think when you do that, then you start getting them to the, oh, this is pretty cool. I want to see what else is here. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, you mm -hmm. know, every little tidbit that you can mm -hmm. do this kind of thing, I think, is what counts. Yeah. So. I, was, I was really excited to think about going for a grant for, for trail and connecting it into that park somehow because mm -hmm. it is it is a big park and if you get people that are walking and jogging, I see it all the time when I walk and give them an interest to come down into your park and continue Just their not walk. Skirting it. The more the more activity you have in the park the less stuff you have going on because it's well, active, it's there's here. people there. Um, same thing when you go to put that kind of stuff in. Security lights, lighting. That's, I don't even care if it's. Um, I've seen solar ones done, mm -hmm. you know, so that it will just automatically so light them up right. to to make sure you can see at night. Our right. officers could see when they're even driving by. Right. But people are, are real thrilled about putting trails in. So Kirk from Gilmore was real excited mm -hmm. about that, and he said, "Yeah, so this is probably one of the first things you want to define." Right. And then you can put in right. your other things, you know. Mm -hmm. But playground area where it's going to be, right. and your trail. And go for a big grant to tie that in. Right, and to, I think that's to put great. That down. So I think that would be yeah. a nice. And then you could do your your benches, and yeah. we've had information for um, benches to be donated. Their bench programs. Uh, even the MAC had information on that. We got some from PSAB, and they have programs where you can donate and put those benches right. in, which saves you that money. Because yeah. we need public change. spaces, mm -hmm. and that website I, that we I talked about last year. Um, public um, public space mm -hmm. uh, website, which I gave you, that, mm -hmm. that always has constant threads Please. and ideas right. of what to do. Mm -hmm. So I really think that's a good I had good stopped. Resource. I'll have to transfer my pictures from my phone. I had taken a couple photographs of the Falsington, a little uh, smaller than uh, um, Emma Wright would be, but a passive kind of park there. And it's adorable. Mm -hmm. And they have a brick, red brick walk all mm -hmm. scattered through there. There's a little gazebo in there. There's right. seating mm -hmm. here and there. They have right. nice trash cans. Right. As I'm as I'm photographing, even some of the light poles, they have antique light poles, yeah. and even those have been donated. Mm -hmm. right. They had one with a plaque on it where uh, one of the uh, one of the boys clubs had had actually collected the money and put the donation for that pole to be put in. So, so and benches ways to get yeah that yeah. offset your cost and then it, it, the people are then part of that project that you're doing kind of like it was for the the library. Everybody mm -hmm. was thrilled about that. They loved to go fund me, raise fun. money just it like that, and, 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 and put the bench in. So it's, it's, a, it's a really neat idea, and I think when you start doing the park, you'd probably be surprised how many businesses and people would want to donate or in groups want to donate to have a bench put in and get that little platform, little platform there. Yeah. And I never thought about the lights until I went to Fallsington, and, and there some of their poles actually have a nice little plaque on there donated by. Yeah, it's a beautiful little park. Yeah, it it's, it's adorable. Um, same thing, shrubbery is the small, easy maintenance type of thing. But well, I also want nice. to say, let's try and do as much native as we can. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, there's oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 But um, uh, it's, 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 it's going to be an exciting year because, I mean, we're finally getting somewhere with the emerald. Yes, writer. that's the pump house. But that's when it's falling down. Start mm -hmm. when it's falling down. Mm -hmm. See, that's, that's right. the picture what I What we're have. looking that's for is a picture probably in uh, the early 1900s. 
You never know. Somebody could have been an employee down there, has a picture shown somewhere. That was the last pump house I attended. Yeah, that was the last pump house of its kind in the nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it was the last pump house of its kind in the nation. Wow. And it ended. And it soon had gone in the dust of that. Was it my hometown? I had copied the photograph that was they did the painting of, and there's one small umbrella hall and that little entertainer, and then I gave one to the. MMA, and they have, I think, in the office. A I wonder if um, Mr. Hey. Chronicle uh, has a, he seems to have a lot of pictures, of historic pictures. Corinne's yes. father, mm -hmm. he has a lot of historic pictures. I should have Jim. But the MMA have thinking any? thinking about it. That's what I wonder, too. Yeah. Yeah. They, they may have, have some. Is that I would hope they, they have something that they've saved. When I gave him the one that well, I had, public works, he did, did not they have, have anything in their records, in, public, in our public works records? I didn't mm -hmm. ask him, but Moran didn't seem to have anything. Okay. He was too surprised when I gave him the frame one of, of okay. the one that's coming down. But we could look and see. Because that would be awesome to have. Because that was from there. the MMA, that picture. Okay. Yeah, I, we're looking for a picture circa 1920s to to 1940s. Well, I mean, yes. we throw it out there, maybe. Well, my husband's been going on, I don't know what website he's on, but he's he started me this this collection. He did, he's been doing bidding on postcards and photographs, old photographs of Marsville. Mm -hmm. And you should see some of the photographs that he's won in these bids for me. So yes. he d I just got one in the library. <laughs> I have a ton of them. Do you? I have a 1918 yeah. library one. One, one of the post office, um, uh, it's amazing once he's gotten pictures of it. Well, you have two people who live here right in town mm -hmm. who are postcard fanatics okay. and who sell so and who are members Louise. of the postcard. Yeah, Louise maybe. Weil and, Louise, yeah. and Mark Schwartz. Maybe they'll, Mike have, Schwartz, a, they, maybe they'll have a photograph because yeah, I've got a lot of black and white. So maybe just well, they, to them. They're, they are members of the, uh, the postcard uh, the society that meets. I wonder who he's, yeah, some of these ones are coming from like, not he town. Maybe he's got a, a picture, some receipt. That's why I said the historical society. Yeah, you could ask them if they have one. If we could find one, that's a great idea. Though. I think it, it, it would be perfect yeah. to do there, and it covers up those pipes. It makes it more of a destination, mm -hmm. and the park will. Like, a focal point. If we have a little mm -hmm. bit of history of it mm -hmm. to put with it, they'll do the writing, they'll do the picture, they'll do a placard. Is there thing. is there any kind of? Um, I don't think there is down there. Is there any kind of mapping anywhere, like of, of the trails? You know, like they've got this trail system coming in. Have, do they have anything? The, right before the bridge abutment, on the other side of the bridge abutment, there, yeah, so there is a placard. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's, there's, there's a placard there that talks about some history, and then um, that's that's it. But it doesn't talk about the pump house. It talks about more of the canal, and if this, if you could tie the Morrisville mm -hmm. Borough and the canal mm -hmm. a little bit more. On this piece on the building, mm -hmm. I think that would be awesome. And you know, on this site was the original pump house dating back, right. da, 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 right. that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and with a photograph. Mm -hmm. And they were at that time they were willing to to work on that. That's mm -hmm. something they enjoy doing. So I'd like to mm -hmm. see us um, talk to them about that. Mm -hmm. What is Todd White's? Uh, I don't know. My hometown. Yeah, my hometown. That's what. I looked up and I can't find it. That's what it was before. The only, yeah. I guess. No, he had a website. Oh. Um, yeah, he did. Do you have a website? We'll find it. That's he's what I said before. He's got a book 